Okay, before I paint up the cockpit pieces, <coughs> excuse me, I've got the uh, fuselage halves ready as well, so I have to paint a bit inside of them. So you're adding to the fuselage halves, so you're putting in the exhaust, which just sit. Basically, these pieces just sit flush to the fuselage. Uh, and also this part, which will hold, I think, the no, drop tank, I think, there. So that goes in. Again, it just sits flush on the fuselage. Our tail wheel well and the supercharger. Again, the, the, that's got a groove where it sits, so that's that all right, no problems. This you just line up with the uh, shape of the fuselage. Uh, you're putting in the antenna now because it butts up against the piece. So there's a tab on the other side of the fuselage. And that hold, well, it's glued in, but that hold. So what I did, I just Put some glue to hold that and then I put this on to make sure it sits correctly and vertical. The other part you have to put on is this tiny little piece here. It's about two millimeters long. You need to be so careful when you're getting these parts off these sprues that they don't go pinging off. Uh, and the other thing is the part's so small when you cut it off the sprue if you need to trim where you cut it's so hard to handle so I just uh, I to try and hold them down on my cutting mat with tweezers and then just trim with the blade um, but whatever works for you but it's uh, you gotta be careful too you if you pinch too hard with tweezers yeah boom, gone all right also I will point out be careful, so the fuselage has attached a sprue ejection port. There's a lot of them on the mating surface of the uh, fuselage there. So a lot of manufacturers do it. It's not unique to mini art, but you, when you trim them off and you clean up that surface, be careful that you don't sand away too much and you don't leave big gaps. This plastic's uh, it's on the softer side, not extremely soft, but it's uh, if you think like Hassi Gow is really nice hard plastic, this is uh, softer to work with, so it, it'll cut easier, sand easier, and so on. So the top of the uh, instrument panel section on the fuselage is uh, three parts that go in to the grey styrene and the clear piece as you can see of Mr Masking Solar over the gun sight so when I paint it that stays clear also, but this stuff works good but I don't use the brush because the uh, brush is huge I use a toothpick so I lift the brush out and just get a bit on the toothpick and then just work it onto the area that you want to cover like that the clear part when it fixes to the, this part there's a the gray piece has got a tab that comes out and the clear part has a, a slot in it but it was the tab is a little bit long so I trimmed the grey piece, the tab, down so that I could get it on properly. It, when I first dry fitted it, it was sticking out from it. It's supposed to be up flush against that part. So I just trimmed it so it would go on properly. So that's the interior. Pretty much that I can paint it. And uh, this it, paint this up and put it all together. So... That is what I shall do. Okay, I've painted up 
the uh, interior parts. I still need to hand paint in uh, details on the uh, cockpit sidewalls, the headrest, the paint in leather, and the harnesses and the uh, handle on the yoke. And I've got to paint black on some of those parts. So when you're painting your fuselage halves, it's easier to blast some paint in these areas before you put it together because once it's together you won't uh, yeah, get at it so easy not that you're really seeing it but if you want a piece of mine that everything's painted go that way I just blasted a bit of black primer in there just so it uh, keeps it dark in behind the uh, plastic Again, it doesn't really matter, but habit, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna paint them in. Now we can give it a wash and put it together. I can't remember now when I did the my little review if I mentioned the paint callouts. They're in uh, Vallejo, Mr. Color, AK Real Color, Mission Models, uh, Ammo Mig, and Tamiya. So you got a good selection of paint to uh, work with should be something there for everyone acrylics and lacquers uh, being World War two it's not real complicated anyway so the interior green I'm using is just this one SMS lacquer US interior green uh, interior green is so many bloody different shades of it I tend to just work with a few I have at the end of the day once all this is together and it's in the uh, buttoned up you don't see a great deal anyway once that's all in there you'll be in the canopy and everything you know be harder to see it all All right, I'm waiting for the paint to dry on my cockpit pieces. So while that's happening, I'm going to start trimming off the parts for the engine. I've trimmed this one off, and it's I thought I'd just bring it to your attention when you're trimming these parts. Some of them have got difficult uh, sprue gate areas like these. So this is piece that's got to come off. Uh, extremely hard to get at that, but I'll probably cut a sprue cutters up here, and I'm going to have to try and get my blade in there and just uh, get them out best I can. It's be hard also to clean a uh, diamond file probably to get in there just a little bit just to clean it up or scrape it with your blade. Uh, the piston section look, don't look too bad. The sprue gates are on the end of the part, so that's easy enough to get off. But, uh, yeah, just do the best you can with these because it's a bit difficult to get at. Okay, got these parts together. Now, this is the basic uh, version of the kit, obviously, so you're not using all these engine parts. So they will be for, no doubt, the advanced version when it comes out. Uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could probably build it all, but I'm just doing the, this version and as per instructions. The, I ended up those push rods to get that sprue gate out. I put a new blade in my knife, so it's nice and sharp. Sat the part down on my cutting mat, flat, and then it was pushed. And because the plastic's off, it cut nicely. And then I uh, just used a diamond file. This one, that just the side of it would fit in between the push rods. The fit of the parts was not too bad. Uh, the where the two parts of the engine go together. So it's like a slot, and the shape that shape fits into the recess of the other one. That was really pretty uh, firm fit as is this is the back of the engine or the 
bulkhead. It's I just did a dry fit and it's extremely nice, really firm, tight. You probably don't even need to glue it. These parts they need to be painted zinc chromate, so I'm painting them separate. The push rods uh, are supposed to be black, but I glued them on. It's easier for me to paint that whole section and then paint in hand the push rods because I don't like, especially with metallizers, gluing around them. If the glue gets out and spills a bit, it, it uh, wrecks the paint. Uh, this piece has had several parts going on it. Um, so these, oh, I've still got to put one more on there, I've missed. Uh, you can see there's like a, there's a slot in there, but this part does not have a, a, a tab that fits that slot, so I'm not sure why they've done that. Anyway, there's a bit, there's a, like a round section where you can see it's chamfered away, you know where to fit them. Uh, that piece, that GC9, is ex extremely tiny, so again, be careful trimming it off your sprue. And GC11, it's the same system, but on a small scale as this. So there's a slot, a groove in the, uh, the small part, GC11, and it pushes in side there. But they didn't, the, the groove in the small part wasn't big enough. I had to cut it out with the blade to make it bigger so it would fit. So that didn't fit well. But I, I am impressed with the the push rod fit. They all touch the uh, top of the pistons. Uh, a lot of builds over the years you find, or well, I have, that they don't really, they're a bit short or long or they don't match up. These went well. So I'm going to paint that up so I can put them together because that's. I'll probably paint that like dark aluminium paint, hand paint in the push rods. This is a, I usually paint these like a, a bluey gray color. Um, yeah, so I'll get that done. So <clears throat> while I'm waiting for engine parts to dry, the paint, I'm building the, uh, so that's the lower cowl. And you got like the uh, intake cooling section at uh, below the engine. So there's uh, four parts uh, that go together, plus this one after you've done that bit. But the fit is uh, not not brilliant. There's a bit of a gap. There, uh, I had to. So this side, there's a tab on the bigger section, either side, and these side pieces, there's a slot that they go onto that tab. On this side, I had to trim the tab down because it wouldn't go on. This side was okay. This piece slots in. To that gap there's a couple of grooves but it sort of has to go into it that didn't fit i had to uh sand a bit off these edges to uh, get it to slot in there uh, fortunately you will not really see any of that what time that fits in it's gonna sit Oh, hang on, wrong way around, idiot. That way. So when that goes in, you're not really seeing all that, what I mentioned there, so... You, you will see there, as you look in. So I like to put a bit of smidge of putty there, just to clean it up a bit. It's, uh, yeah, otherwise it's all right. It's just, it was fiddly getting it together, just trying to get it to all fit.
lots of paint on it. Engine, glued it together. Uh, it'll, I'll give it a wash near the end when you're only going to see the front, so I'll just add the wash to the front. So I've painted up this uh, intake section and glued the piece in. So for the cockpit, I did a bit of dry brushing just on the floor where the feet go. I painted in all the other colours, a bit of leather for the headrests, harnesses, buckles. Uh, so that that's still setting. That there's three decals in the kit for the instrument panel. One I use the one with the, the like the whole instrument panel with the black backing. It's uh, I just want to try it, see how it goes. Such a large decal. There's the other ones are clear, so they'll just go into your bezels. Uh, and there was some decals that had to go on the side walls. So they're almost been dried off, but I'll leave them and then give them a gloss coat again. Uh, protect from a wash. So yeah, I just want to try that decal. See what that looks pretty good. So, uh, so again, I'm not, oh, on the foot pedals, I gave a bit of a dry brush with some uh, natural steel. I'll gloss that to protect the decals before I uh, glue it together and give it a wash. So that's all I've got time for today. But uh, next up for the engine is. Uh, mounting it into the bottom cow, so there's a tab a tab there that will sit in here but I'm not let's just say I'm a bit concerned how all this multi-part cowling is going to fit together but we'll see when I get to it